Kaylin Patterson, Midwest Muscle, here at Five Star Fitness, my home away from home. Day after the Shy Town Showdown, I mean that that show was off the chain. It, it, I just honestly, I don't know how Joe comes back year after year better and better. It seems like you know the people say the swords are better. I don't think he's ever had one year where the sword was the same, and they, they really cherish those things. You know, we had some people that returned last night that were just even better than they were. That that the guy that won the overall. Oh my goodness! I, I it, the change he made in the year was just phenomenal. I'm here with Leif Henderson. He took the team award from us. It hurts, it's but close. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was close. <laughs> one point. First time we were there, actually had one point difference in the team, and I mean, it, the, everybody came out there representing. You have a show your that's that's your own coming up. Watching a, a promoter like Joe Perez, Joe and Heather, you know, they put on a great show. Knowing the fact that it's NABA, and that's the only organization in this state that's NABA, it's the only show, and for him to have that kind of presentation and representation, that's got to make you feel good uh, coming in as a promoter and, and really bringing it out, taking care of the competitors, because you know that's one of his biggest things. He takes care of family, he takes care of friends, he takes care of everybody as a promoter, not politics as a promoter because i loved what he said last night about don't blame him you know go talk to the judges all of them are going to be there at the night show yeah with uh with the showdown this is our second year back now um you know as a promoter myself you know joe and heather are both two individuals that i definitely look up to mm -hmm. uh you know even before the show starts you know that this is something special and that's yes. what brings competitors in you know standalone nava show it doesn't have from what i've seen much support um no. with a lot of other NAVA shows. So this is really, Joe and Heather are the ones that bring the heat, they bring the competitors, and it's the way, when it comes down to it, it's the way they treat their competitors. Mm -hmm. um, from the very get-go with the, uh, the competitor bags, um, all I heard on repeat, this is the best bag we've ever seen. Look at this, with the apparel, with the supplements. Um, yeah, they had t-shirts in there. They, they pull it all stops. I mean, they definitely do the work, and they do the work for the competitors. So, I mean, it, it, it's definitely, uh, he raises the bar for me because there's no way that I come to these shows and see what he does rolling out the red carpet for athletes. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if I didn't bring the heat too, if I didn't raise the bar for my own show uh, in Duluth, Minnesota, frankly, I, I'd be embarrassed. Well, what, I mean, I'd give them the name so they know. <laughs> I mean, so we have the Minnesota Mayhem up in Duluth, Minnesota, and that's September 26th. <laughs> Um, September 26th, it's a pro arm event. We have pro men's bodybuilding and pro figure, um, all the amateur divisions. It's pro qualifier. Um, we have the uh, the, entry, the amateur entries ca are capped at 150, and the entries are rolling in yeah. really, really quick. Uh, so it's one of those things where we want quality over quantity, and that's one of the reasons why we capped the memberships. You know, just like the showdown, mm -hmm. um, I think we had uh, 130 yes. entries for the showdown, and it was perfect. Extremely competitive, yes. but uh, with how well Joe and Heather run this, this show, you know, prejudging pre was over by noon. Everybody got out in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, night show, we were out by you know, 1030. You know, it's amazing with the number of competitors that he has that everything runs That's seamlessly. Yeah. You know, I, I, they definitely well-oiled machine. Yeah. So it's, uh, I think that's very, very important with some of the other organizations, with some of the other shows, when they bring in the numbers, which is good, because we yeah. want to have, we want to have the numbers. Yeah. Have um, yeah. We don't want to be, we don't want to be out at midnight. We don't want to be uh, have, treating athletes like cattle, hurting them on stage and off stage. Yes. Not only does the show run smooth, you know, he gives so much attention to every single individual. Um, <laughs> shredded to the Bone Awards, Best Posing Awards, mm -hmm. Team Awards, you know, with Team Classic Physique. Not only did he have us on stage, he brought out um, the team that finished number two, <laughs> Five Star Fitness. You know, we were all on stage, not only the athletes. I mean, the athletes step on stage alone because this is an individual sport. Mm -hmm. But Joe and Heather recognize that... Uh, whether it's the coaches, family, friends, husband, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, yeah, all you know, got to get out we there. all got out there, yeah, you know, and it was it was nice to be able to uh, give them some stage time too, because you know how difficult it is to live with a dieting husband yeah. or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, and I think the the crowd ate it up. It was yeah. great. We had a little uh, banter going back and forth, you yeah. know. 
I like that. And uh, <laughs> you know, and that boys, with with the showdown, it, it brings a whole new dy dynamic with the team award. Uh, mm -hmm. I believe we had Naba Germany representation there. We had Naba Hawaii representation there. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Brian's team body sculpt there. Yeah. Five Star Fitness, Team Classic Physique, and uh, although we all have a little bit of rivalry going. We all support each other. We all, I mean, it is yeah. good fun and it's good for the sports. Um, and it creates some momentum and excitement going on 2016. Yeah. You know, so I think it's Joe and Heather, they have really something special with, 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 with the showdown and to uh, not only survive in the Chicagoland area with the show, mm -hmm. they are thriving. This is yes. the show. This it, is, a, it, it, it brings is the, the show. brings no the, doubt. brings the numbers, brings the quality. Um, and we'll, we'll be back every single year be because of that. Yes. I mean, it's, it, it really is something special. It's, it's, it's an honor to even be a part of what they put together here. Even down to the, the numbers on the, on the card. I mean, I, like you, you get your badges mm -hmm. and it's got the detailed information on the back of what you've just done. And the fact that he's willing to go, what I don't want to say he, they are willing to go because, you know, he involves his whole family and the family basically indoctrinates himself into that so deep that it's really nice. I mean, it's really phenomenal to watch that happen. I'm sure as a competitor, it's nice to see the competitors come, come in like, that are, like they are. But, you know, as a promoter and seeing what he's doing, like you said, it, it's, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure you feel like, you know, you got it. So you and Stephanie gonna got your hands full with how you're coming about this and you're bringing the hammer. So just, you know, speak on some of the things that you got. And I know you guys got to hit the road, so I won't hold you much longer. But just speak on those things about what's what's coming forward, because that's a big deal. You know, if, if, if you if you got a show in the natural community, word of mouth is a lot if you're backing it up. And I just want everybody to understand that this man is not a joke. He's not coming you know, with the, the banter of, you know, come to, come to my show and I'll do this and that, whatever. It's not a bunch of hearsay. He's actually doing it. I mean, he's been posting about it forever, and I'll let him speak about what he's been posting. All right. So, like I said, Heather and Joe, they rose, they're raising the bar, um, taking care of their athletes, and I've been inspired. You know, I definitely have been inspired to give back to this, you know, the sport that I love, mm -hmm. you know, with, with the, the family-oriented, the athlete-oriented show. Um, you know, speaking of athletic bags, swag bags, you know, Cyvation uh, is one of the sponsors that had came on to support the Minnesota Mayhem. They brought the heat. They're actually giving out to every single competitor. These are our athlete goodie bags. You know, the goodie bags, and then we, we throw that term out all the time. We travel the country um, attending shows, and typically you get a little tiny bag, maybe a few supplements thrown in it. You know, um, goodie bags, yeah. Goodie bags, that's for kids that are trick or treating. This is an athlete's bag. So every single athlete, um, amateur and pro, receive a salvation bag. Wow. Um, the sponsors, all the sponsors, raising the bar, and they're gonna be filling that bag with uh, with apparel, with supplements. Um, you know, really giving back to the athletes. P for B stepped up. Yeah. Not only not only P for P, but the P, but the P for P family mm -hmm. stepped up. Um, <laughs> Uh, with sponsorship and donations, and we have a thousand dollars that are given away to Best Posing. Every single division's eligible, um, awesome. amateur or pro. So, uh, and it's not best dancer. Yeah. It's not best acrobatics on stage. It's the individual, male and female, um, that can essentially bring back the last art of posing. Yes. Who can display their physique? Um, the best. Exactly. So, you know, not only is it going to be an exciting high octane show on stage for the athletes, I think the crowd is in for something special too. And that makes a difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, the, the, the overwhelming support that we've had for the mayhem, you know, I just, I feel so blessed and so honored to have so many amazing individuals um, that just have a passion for the sport mm -hmm. um, come together, you know, and that's really what makes the mayhem what it is. Uh, you know, it, it's not my show. You know, it, it's our show. Yes. And you know, and you've made it that way even before its initiation. Absolutely. You know, that was the. You know, that's part of our, our mission. We just want to help natural bodybuilding grow. We want to support natural bodybuilding because at the end of the day, we all win because of it. You know, the sponsors win because of the exposure. The athletes win because a lot of, you know, up until this point, you know, and it's 
other promoters are, are, are taking lead. You know, I'm inspired by amazing promoters that are in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and hopefully the mayhem reaches out to other promoters that are, whether they're new promoters or even some of the existing promoters. It inspires them to raise the bar too. Because um, I'm tired of seeing our athletes fighting for scraps. Yeah. You know, there, 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 there is money in this sport. There is advancement in this sport. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of that is not passed down to the athletes. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? I think that's time to change that. Yes. And I see things are in the works. You know, there, there's, something, uh, there's something really special in the works here. And uh, I think natural bodybuilding has some exciting, I think it has an exciting future in yeah. store. Well, I saw Vicky had posted uh, about, you know, taking better care of the athletes as well. And, I, I, and it, was a, it wasn't an article that she had uh, written, but it was one she had shared. But it was a challenge to the promoters, you know, to, to actually mm -hmm. do better. And that's the thing, you know, it, it, with the DFAC, the DFAC, that's the sanctioned or, organization for the mayhem. Um, it really is, you know, it, the motto, passion over profit and athletes first, those to the defect that's more than just words mm -hmm. i mean that's that's what we live by um so it really is an organization by athletes for athletes and i, I really think that's where it starts yes um you know across the board across you know coast to coast actually worldwide with the defect yeah. um we're, we want to inspire and raise the bar for what bringing the state with what we're bringing to the table for the athletes yeah, it's working Good. I see the, the, you know, I see the competitors uh, really wanting to come out, and they're they're coming out better. They realize they've got their part because that was the one thing I'd always hear from the the supplement companies. Like, because I, 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 I I've asked, trust me, I've asked, why won't you support us more? I, it just baffled me why they wouldn't. And they said because when you step off stage, you step away from the whole game, and we don't represent. We we we're not even recognized in our own gyms because the weight differential is that much. And you know, I'm I'm not granted. I, I I would never ask anyone to stay stage weight year round. But it's like stay in that ballpark. You know, so stay in the venue. It's something. You know, it's like it, and it was a challenge because they said, you know, we can we can call on one of the enhanced gentlemen or uh, women, and they can be right there ready. But if we call you guys five months later, we're still hoping you get there. And I'm thinking, well, now they can't say that because now we are more, you know, uh, year round. Uh, healthy looking now I don't, I don't want to say stage ready but healthy looking and that's that's a big thing the ownership on us put the onus on you first before you ask anyone else and we did that and I think like you're saying now that change is happening because we have done it we've owned up to our part now I think it's time for them to own up to theirs yeah, and that's a and that's that's a whole other thing that I absolutely love with the direction the sport's going you know we're bodybuilding's kind of lost its way you know, mm -hmm. and we kind of got away from what the foundation used to be, which is just health and wellness. Yeah. You know, pr promoting the lifestyle. Good health and fitness. Absolutely. Yeah. We still want to see the freaks on stage. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You know, we got to bring some, we got to put some hustle behind the muscle and, yes. you know, bring it to the stage. But not, we can't compromise health. So I, I love the fact that natural bodybuilding is growing by leaps and bounds. And we're bringing that health aspect back. Um, another thing with the mayhem, you know, 100% of the proceeds, you know, we, we have a, Beautiful venue. Kaylin, I cannot wait for you to come see this. But we got uh, 2,300 seats. We're going to fill every one of those seats. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I have faith. We're going to fill every one of those seats. Um, and 100% of the proceeds uh, of the Mayhem, it's going to, we're going to be donating that to Teen Challenge. You know, the, the, the Mayhem is not just about the athletes, um, it's also about just the community. Mm -hmm. And with Teen Challenge, you know, with the defect, with the mayhem, we want to support being drug free on the stage, but we also want to support being drug free off the, yeah. off the stage. And that's kind of where Teen Challenge came into play um, with drug and alcohol rehab um, and just give people an outlet. Yeah. Um, you know, surround them with a, a new circle of friends that are health oriented, that are training oriented. Because our fitness family basically supports us even though they're not here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is a life change. It, Natural body, it's, it's more than the stage. Natural bodybuilding is so much more than the stage. It's a lifestyle. And it's a, it, it, it's, it has such a family feel, a family yes. network. It's life-changing. You know? And I think the more people that we reach, um, the more people that we connect with, uh, I cannot wait to see this family grow. Yeah, and like I said, it, it can be life-changing. So, I mean, it's, I, I just feel so amazingly blessed to have met you. Um, and you know what? Like you've said before, iron sharpens iron. Yes. You know, and the people, especially as of late, the people that we're connecting with, 
with the same passions, the same mindsets, the same drive. We have become an unstoppable machine. Yes. You know, and I it, be that steamroller. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I want to be that steamroller. <laughs> well, thank you, Lee. I know Stephanie's been uh, holding that thing forever. Her arms like twice the size. That's the workout you needed up in the gym in five stars. <laughs> I'm sorry for having you hold it that long. We just we get to talk and we can talk for hours. Lee, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, brother. Great job last night. Great team. I mean, you really brought the ham with that team. That was that was really nice. And I, I appreciate the challenge. We know we got to step up even more. But other than that, we're still brothers in Christ and in love. So, Kaylin Patterson Lee, Stephanie, thanks so much. That arm shaking yet? Okay. <laughs> we are out.